So why do searches fail? Either we didn't understand the question or the requester didn't understand the question. And I've given you some examples or we didn't have enough time to complete the research. I often wonder uh, the story that I was told about the four page report for 40 different companies. How much time were they given to complete that research? Because that's not trivial. That takes a long time. And then there's a language barrier. And this is sort of a joke and it's sort of not a joke. If you do any sort of international research, you'll, you'll run into these things of words that sound like something. So this is a British story translated for speakers of American English. So uh, could you call me an elevator because I've got an apartment? Okay, in British English, an elevator is a lift. So could I get a lift because I've got an apartment? Well, in British English, that's a flat. So elevator, apartment, lifts. Explaining results. This is one of these really tricky things that can be kind of fun. When you have no results, you really don't wanna go back to the person and say, I failed, I didn't find anything because it's, maybe you didn't fail. Maybe the fact is there's some reason why there's no answer there. And I have a, a wonderful example. I don't know if, I, I can't tell if Fred is on the, on the call or not here, but uh, this is from um, Fred King who says, my former director uh, once said, if you two can't find it, it's not fair. And then he went on, he says, I would never say that to someone for whom I was doing a search for fear of them turning to the keyboard, clicking a few keys and finding exactly what I didn't find. And that is, I suppose, a form of Murphy's law. But if there is a strange anomaly, maybe it tells you something. I'm not sure about the chemical in the fruit, but I'm still thinking about that one. Beware of acronyms that could mean different things. Um, IP, for example, could mean a number of different things. So you have to clarify that. And then sometimes people want things and you literally can't give it to them. It's copyright restricted. There are licensing terms. Uh, in, in academic business libraries, we're still fighting with Harvard over, uh, over case studies because they want extra money for the case, for some, not all, but some of the case studies or cost. Yeah, we know where your answer is. It's in a database that we can't afford. 